Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin. It's not necessarily difficult, but there are a few tips to make it so that your weaving life is easier and that the weft flows off of your bobbin as your shuttle goes through the shed. Um, it doesn't get caught up in the method that I use and um, your weaving goes much smoother. So I've attached the bobbin winder to this table, um, but you'll notice I put a paper towel underneath it because these bobbin winders can mar the surface. And you can ask me how I know because I have marred surfaces. I also um, have the put up for the yarn directly below the bobbin winder because it'll flow directly up to the bobbin. So I'm going to start by winding a few times around the bobbin and then watch my hand as I start to wind. I don't wind just in this spot, it goes across quickly. So you can see I'm crisscrossing because if you wind your bobbin so that all those threads are in order, you actually are making it more difficult for the weft to come off the bobbin. So you want to do the crisscross. So you can see I'm going back and forth. I also don't fill up the ends. You don't want the ends to get filled up because when they fall off, then you have a big problem um, as you're weaving and you eventually are probably going to have to cut your weft and rewind your bobbin. So in this case, I'm using wool, so it, it doesn't hurt my hands. But if you're winding something like linen or thin silk or even sometimes cotton, and you're going quickly and you're feeling a large bobbin, you're gonna want something to protect your hands. So I use this piece of felt, it's well used. You could use a piece of paper, but you just hold the thread with this and you just continue to wind. The other thing I'd like to say is that my tension right here, this is tight. I want this bobbin to be solid. I don't want it to be spongy. I want it to be solid and that will also help when I'm um, weaving. So I just fill up. Eventually you're gonna to be towards the, the center and I stop. I don't overfill my bobbins, okay? So when I take this off, it'll be solid. So that's a, that's a well wound bobbin right there um, and it'll work well. So the other tip I have um, or I have two other tips I'd just like to say. One is oil your bobbin winder. It makes a difference, it's a mechanical thing. You just put a drop of oil right in this area and it, it distributes as the wheel turns. The other thing is that sometimes you're weaving and you only need a few yards and you don't wanna fill a whole bobbin. So I would just measure out the three or four yards I might need for the three or four picks I'm making. Just wind, up, wind them off and just let that drop and, and wind up a bobbin quickly and you'll be happy. So that's, that's my tips for today and happy weaving and happy winding.